Cloud computing with real-time performance guarantees is critical for new technology. The technologies that rely on real-time virtualization include such things as safety features in smart cars designed to prevent accidents, or remote monitoring of patients with serious conditions. With so many applications in the arena of smart cities, manufacturing to healthcare, there's an effort to expand this research addressing the challenges. And it's happening on the campus of Washington University. Smart city initiatives are sweeping the nation using sensors and data networks to tackle problems from crime fighting to traffic. These include sensors that wirelessly manage response systems such as street lights and traffic signals and sensors that alert drivers to available parking. The U.S. Department of Transportation is encouraging cities to embrace the smart city concept through its Smart City Challenge. Here, smart city applications run the gamut. For all of this to work, response times have to be in real time. It has a lot to do with uh, the notion of Internet of Things. Right, the idea is you can instrument our cities and many, many subsystems of our, our cities right, with sensors, and then you can connect these sensors to the internet. Then once you are connecting them to the internet, you can collect all these data and aggregate them into cloud computing, where then you can run you know, large-scale analytics right, and optimization algorithms in order to, to optimize the operations of our cities. Right? That's indeed ranging from you know, traffic, management to uh, healthcare to disaster response to manage your water system and so forth. That's where these men step in, enhancing real-time virtualization and cloud computing to make smart cities work without delays. Because otherwise you're going to mess up the traffic, right, because it's changing all the time instead of helping it. So that's essentially what we are trying to do. We are trying to do this real-time cloud computing systems that give you predictable and, and short latencies. Professors Chen Yang Lu and Christopher Gill with Washington University developed an open source real-time scheduling software called RTZen, which is for Zen, the popular virtualization software. We open source a fair amount of what we do, so we release it, for example, with Zen, so that other people take it and use it. So, Zen is a very important system. So what we did is we implemented these real-time scheduling algorithms within the Zen hypervisor. Uh, this is becoming actually very uh, big news because recently it was officially incorporated into the Zen hypervisor. That is the official and only real-time scheduler uh, today that's running with the Zen hypervisor. That enables right, all these communities and users around the world to utilize our real-time scheduler. Now they are advancing real-time performance guarantees critical in situations where seconds matter. For example, the team is currently working on early warning systems for Barnes Jewish Hospital. This involves inpatient monitoring and remote patient monitoring. Where we collect you know, vital sign sensor data from patients uh, in real time, and then we have these data mining algorithms that issue early warnings on patient conditions. Real time nature of it is that you can make predictable timing guarantees, so that then over a very large population and a whole lot of computation that you have to do, you're actually getting it on time to the doctor when they need it, and it's coming up in some sort of push alert, for example. That's what this technology is really good at. And the predictability is really the issue. It's not the time scale so much at which it happens, it's that you can make the guarantees. Their efforts to advance real-time guarantees are especially important for autonomous cars, where motorists are taking their hands off the wheel and their feet off the pedals putting their trust in the cloud. Even your partially autonomous cars have active safety features to let you know if traffic has dramatically slowed, but you have not. Alerts can have you braking in time. Safety features can also let you know if another vehicle is in your blind spot. And so now all the different features have to coordinate with each other and work together 
under a wide range of different situations. And so they have to consider all of this when they're designing their vehicles. And what we're trying to provide is the capability so that if they envision how a change of mode of operation happens and what needs to happen with the timing uh, guarantees that are made for the different tasks in the system, now all of a sudden you're able to make that kind of configuration work in a wide variety of different situations. Helping to take their research to the next level, the team is receiving funding from the the Office of Naval Research. In this work, Professors Liu and Gill are developing a platform for cloud computing environments to coordinate and manage real-time virtual machines, providing predictability in real-time systems. Things can change very quickly. It's that all of a sudden there's traffic stopped ahead of you, or in the disaster response, the large storms roll in and things start happening. And so basically what the dynamics of that induce, and this is really the newest thing that our, our most recent research grant is targeting, is to look at when things change, can you shift the computation, can you shift the data collection, so that your situational relevance, your, your, your sort of information you're gathering and your support for the people who have to make decisions in that setting is actually focused on the most important things. And that can be a very radical shift. And at the same time, be making the timing guarantees as you make that transition. Shifting computing resources to the most critical and most urgent tasks while still get all the tasks done. This is really the area that we're working and that's the cutting edge of, of this type of research really. Their road to success, developing predictable real-time guarantees for technologies at our fingertips now to what's still to come in the near future, started in a way that one might say wasn't so predictable. This project actually began as a course project in uh, Chen Yang's course. He has a real-time systems course, and the students were looking at how to do different kinds of real-time scheduling and doing it in a, in a virtualized environment, a, a hypervisor, was completely new. Nobody had looked at this yet. And so two of our students, one who was working with me, one who was working with Chen Yang, came in and did this project in the course. Um, it worked, everything looked really good. We pushed it farther and were able to publish the first paper on it with those two students taking the lead as, as the two main authors on it and us helping to, to sort of shape the work and, and move it forward. And then we started seeking funding support and this has really, really scaled up. It's really been an exciting time because everything that we've done has been a precursor to the next thing and it's just keeping going. So this is a good example where research starts in the classroom that moves on as you know, fun research projects then get incorporated into worldwide open source project now being used by real industry uh, developers.